So, we got a lot to talk about today. We got to talk about the 2K League and the new format. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your boy did not know you could go out there with a the squad <laughs> until he went out there and got Molly Wapple. I was running with some randoms and I went against five people. Hall of Fame squad. I'm like, yeah, what is going on here? Okay. And Mike Wayne addressed. People saying that they did something to shoot and he got a lot to say, man. So we got lots of details to go into in this video. So without further ado, grab yourself a brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done, yo. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, because you know everybody's going to always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we got to start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got that notification bell on lock? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, let's start off with the 2K League event, man. Now, your boy personally did not know. I didn't know that you could go in there with the squad. So, the first game on stream, come to your boy's stream. I will stream, be streaming today on Twitch, of course. Link is in the description. Just a vibe out, man. We got Bob Marley Sunday, by the way. You know what I mean? I got to drop that shit in this plug. But, by the way, I didn't know. So I went out there with randoms, and I got Molly Wap. Bro, I ran up against a team. I was out there with my center. I like, I'm going to go out with my center because it's double rep. I'm not trying to get into the 2K League. Of course not, okay? They're not even painting much. They're not painting enough, to be honest. But anyways... But I went out there, I said, I want to get some rep, you know what I mean? Get a lot of rebounds and, you know, have some fun. But guess what happened? I ran against a team with five Hall of Fame players. I'm like, what is this? Is this a squad? And they were running perfect sets, okay? And pretty much kind of making the point guards and the centers just eat. So I was like, you know what? Let me get five. And I went out there five, and then I had fun. Yeah, I pulled five for my stream. You know, that's what we do. I get on, and if y'all want to run with your boy, come to my stream, and I pull five from the stream. That's how we run. So anyways, I'm a little on the fence on this one because it was way more fun than previous years when they didn't allow you to go in there with people. But... With what happened with the top five event, remember the top five rec event where damn near everybody who was at the top there was boosting and now boosting itself that they let the next pe the next um team throw the game to them. What they did was basically just farm points with the centers and the point guard who was leaking early. You know they could kind of skew the numbers, okay, if a team is focused on letting that dude shine. So I got a question for y'all. Is this the best way to go forward with the NBA 2K League event? Now, Praise Chad posted this on Twitter. And he said 110 points tough, so free. And clearly, he and the Paul Forward were out there. And the team was focused on letting them shine. He could eat 110 points. Because I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna sit down there if I'm playing on a team and this dude just scoring. I'm trying to get into the league or trying to get some rep. And then you just scoring, scoring. And I'm just standing and watching. Hell no. You got to share that rock, my G. Assist count too now. But in terms of getting a lot of points. And that's what it's about right now. Just getting your points up. This is the best method. So again. I got to ask you all. Is this the me best method going forward for them choosing people to qualify to get a chance to make it into the 2K League? And you can't say that they don't choose people because they did choose a few people last year from this event. But now that they're allowing full squads in there, yes. And I think previous years, people used to go in there and time 
to get in so they used to find a way to cheat anyways but, but let me know what you all think about the new format because at the beginning your boy just didn't know <laughs> i just didn't know you could go in there with a squad <laughs> anyways y'all let's move on to more, a more serious topic now someone actually posted this and mike win respond right they said some recent posts from some of the top 2k players and they post a bunch of images of tweets that people was complaining about shooting now let me ask you a question how much y'all are having shooting problems mike wayne is about to address it soon now i personally am not having shooting problems and i will explain why after we speak about what mike wayne is saying right he said and it he said a lot in this post right here he said there were only three parameter shooting related changes on the gameplay code side of things in the most recent patch he said some shots were reported wide open when they were supposed to be open in brackets he put defenders nearby not contesting because wide open frequency went down a little wide open windows were given a small buff in all modes except program and antioch the deep threes were given a small buff for high rated shooters and limitless range got a small buff as well he said contrary to popular belief we never patch specific jump shot animations to make certain bases or releases more or less effective. Because a lot of people been accusing 2K of that in the past. I go for I think Agent started that trend, man. Right. Now it's continue to say there are way too many animation combinations to even attempt that if we wanted to, which we have zero interest in doing. He said my earlier post about wanting realistic field goal percentages has also been taken out of context we're not doing anything in the game code to hold percentages down or boost percentages up to try and get real life numbers i was simply stating that the shot window size are tuned so that shot percentages hopefully play out in a realistic way because when people can make trees like layups it leads to boring basketball but now that the green windows are pure i can no longer use rng to make shooting hit specific targets now mike wait you have to understand who you're speaking to right just a little pause y'all you gotta understand that the 2k community look for every word to nitpick at so the fact that you said that you can no longer use rng they're gonna claim now that all the other 2k's you've been using rng which I don't really care, but I know they're gonna pick at this and say, yo, Mike, when you say, look, I was right all these years, RNG was just taking over the game. You know how they are. So you gotta be careful with your wording when you are explaining stuff. Anyways, let's continue it. He said, it's totally in the hands of the players. And unfortunately, most players are less consistent than math. <laughs> I think he like took a little shot right there. He took a little shot. But anyways, let's continue on. He said, unfortunately, y'all just can't shoot as well as y'all thought. <laughs> let's continue on. He said, now, the big change that did happen with the last patch was a significant change in our online code to reduce latency. I'm almost 100% sure that the difference in shooting that everybody's feeling and my theory for why pros are feeling it much more than everyone else is because a lot of them have mastered their shot timing down to the milliseconds. And when you're ingrained your button release timing after hundreds and hundreds of reps, maybe it's that much harder to adjust to the latency change. We're still actively analyzing our system to make sure that the net code change didn't introduce any unintended not on problem in the shot system but so far everything seems to be working properly this kind of feels like what we saw at launch when everybody was trying to adjust to the smaller green or miss window and throwing up bricks i'm pretty sure you guys will adjust and your shooting percentages will be back to where it was last week if i'm wrong and there's an actual bug somewhere i'll definitely let you know and that's all we ask for my queen that's all we ask for right there just let us know if something is wrong now 
again. And I'm going to tell you all this. I'm being as honest as possible. I have not been experiencing any drastic change in my shooting, right? Some games I'm on, some games I'm off. But when I'm really focused on locked in and watching my animation, I would advise y'all to pay so much attention to your animation. Because trust me, you cannot go off a of feel anymore. You cannot go off a of shot time anymore. You have to go by the visual cue. Learn your visual cue. Again, I did have a shooting video up. I keep promoting it every time I speak about shooting because it helped a lot of people out. To the point that I gave them a release that you could see the clear cue. So it would be much easier for you to adjust based on your situation when it comes to shooting in NBA 2K24. Again... I have not been experiencing what a lot of people have been speaking about, but I still do understand if you're a person that goes off of muscle memory, and when we game, we tend to go off of muscle memory a lot, that is not the way to go with this game. That's probably why, why I'm a little bit more successful when it comes to shooting. And I'm not a person that will blast up 50 shots. <laughs> I ain't gonna front with y'all. I'm not that person. I'm a person that will get up a few shots and rim run when I see fit. You know, I mean, if the rim run is there, I'm taking it. I'm not gonna three hunt. So for the people who probably three hunt, they might see a bigger effect. I gotta, you know, put that out here. Now let me know what y'all think, man. Mike Wayne clear up a few stuff, and it's good to know that they are still looking at it as well. Who knows? There might be a slight bug, who knows, but again, it's not affecting me as much. And I made a statement on my on my last podcast, I know if you all saw it. I said, and the same thing Mike Wayne basically said, is it that a lot of people was playing with the delay, right? And they got so used to the timing and the delay that now that the latency has been reduced, they now have to readjust their shot timing. Let me know what y'all think. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. You know everybody gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. If you're first time to the channel, make sure, like the video, share the video, and hit your boy and subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video, you never know who's gonna be informed. Y'all. Your boy Simon Love Respect. Bless up. Peace.